Anomaly 7A, the distributor block loses pressure or the elevator continuously relevels. Verification if the leaks come from the distributor block. With the cabin idle at one floor, close the ball valve and check if the pressure is dropping. If with the closed ball valve the pressure on the manometer is continuously dropping, it means that the pressure leak is in the distributor block. If uh, with closed ball valve the pressure does not drop, the leak must be searched in the piston or in the piping. Leakage from the main non-return valve. Bring the cabin at the lowermost floor. Switch off the elevator. Leave the ball valve open. Remove screw number 11 from the distributor block. Verify that no oil is coming out. If oil is coming out, please follow the following repair steps. Repair sequence 9A, main non-return valve. With reference to drawings 9510-1 or 2. Close the ball valve and remove its handle for safety. Remove pressure from the distributor block by pushing with a screwdriver on top of EB valve. In this way, we are sure that the pressure is totally zero. Switch off the elevator. Remove the ball valve and the corresponding lateral plate, the item 0447 or the 0667. Please pay extra care for the small parts inside. It is normal at this point if you see a small oil leakage. Remove the spool inside, behind the short spring. This is the main non-return valve. Check that the 0389 gasket is ok and that no dirt is visible. Check also inside. If the gasket of the main non-return valve is damaged, the full non-return valve must be replaced. Clean the inside of the block from any rubber particles. Place the non-return valve back in the block and reassemble the block. Do not drop the springs or the gaskets inside the tank. Reassemble the lateral plate. Reassemble the small fixing bracket. Reassemble the ball valve. When all parts are fixed back, we can reassemble the handle of the ball valve. Repair sequence 10A, EB valve. Refer to drawings 9510-1 and 9510-2. Close the ball valve. Remove pressure from the block by pushing with the screwdriver the top of EB electrovalve. By doing so, the pressure is completely removed from the block. Switch off the elevator. Remove the coil of EB electrovalve. 
Unscrew EB Electro Valve. With a 5mm Allen key, remove the cap below EB Electro Valve. And remove all the small parts inside, a spacer, a spring and a sphere. Please be extra careful and do not drop any small parts inside the tank. Clean all the parts and the inside of the distributor block. If possible, replace the sphere. Put all the parts back inside. The sphere before, then the spring with the smaller diameter towards the sphere, then the spacer and then the closing cap. Take care not to drop any parts inside the tank. Fix the cap with the 5mm Allen key. Assemble the EB valve back in the block. Place the electro valve coil back in its place. Open the ball valve and perform a test in travel. Oil leakage from the manual descent button. With the cabin standing at the floor, verify that below the distributor block there are no leakages. If you see a leakage in a given point, please push the manual descent button and verify that oil is coming out from the same point. In this case, please push the manual descent button continuously in order to clean the passages. If the leakage does not stop, follow repair sequence R11A. Repair sequence R11A, oil leakage from the manual descent button. Refer to drawings 9510-1 or 2. Close the ball valve. Remove pressure from the distributor block by pushing with the screwdriver the top of EB electro valve. By doing so, you are completely removing pressure. Switch off the elevator. Remove the manual descent button. With a 6mm Allen key, remove the metal cap below the manual descent button. Remove all the small parts inside, spring and sphere, making sure that no small parts are falling inside the tank. Clean the parts and the seat of the sphere from any dirt. If possible, replace the sphere. Reassemble the parts inside, before the sphere, then the spring with a smaller diameter towards the sphere and then the metal cap. Do not drop any parts inside the tank. Lock the metal cap. Reassemble the manual descent button. Open the ball valve and perform a test in travel. Oil leakage from the non-returned valve of the hand pump. Leave the cabin stopped at one floor and do not remove the pressure. Remove from the distributor block the small flex hose going to the hand pump. Check that no oil is coming out from the black adapter. If oil is coming out, please follow the following repair steps. Repair sequence R12A, hand pump non-return valve. Refer to drawings 9510-1 and 2. Close the ball valve. 
remove pressure from the distributor block by pushing with a screwdriver the top of EB electro valve. By doing so, you are completely removing pressure. Switch off the elevator. If the mini flex hose is uh, still uh, on the non return valve, please remove it. Remove the non return valve from the distributor block. Remove the sphere and the spring inside. Clean these small parts and the inner part of the valve. If possible, replace the sphere. Reassemble the parts, the sphere, the spring and the non-return valve. Before putting the mini flex hose back on the valve, Open the ball valve and verify that no oil is coming out from this non-return valve. If there are no oil leakages, reassemble the mini flex hose back on the non-return valve. Perform a test in travel.